Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about an article called Isolation and Identification of Lactic Acid Bacteria from Brazilian Minus Artisanal Cheese. So th this article was written by these authors and it was taken from the Journal of Food article. So the objective of this study, uh, this study describes the varieties of lactic acid bacteria in Brazilian artisanal cheese and identifies its lactic communities. Uh, Minas artisanal cheese is one of the most popular cheese in Brazil. Uh, it is actually produced in the state of Minas. That's why the name uh, Minas artisanal cheese. And uh, this, the, the texture of this artisanal cheese is semi-hard of a raw paste and, and uh, it's a cylindrical shape. Only three researches has been conducted on this cheese up until now. Uh, as a result, additional study is definitely needed to learn more about the uh, lactic acid base, lactic acid bacteria diversity uh, in that cheese. Uh, knowledge of the present LAV represent uh, present in this cheese, particularly uh, lactobacilli, would be very useful in gaining true picture of its hygienic and sensory characteristics, especially uh, for the for us the food science students. Uh, during the ripening of homemade cheeses, lactobacilli, uh, lactobacillus retrofermentative species can play an essential role. Uh, they can contribute to the cheese's taste and texture besides being health promoters. Thus, the aim of this study is to identify the microbiota of lab in this cheese. Uh, First, we are going to talk about the materials and methods. Uh, first, sampling. Uh, a total of 84 samples of Minas artisanal cheeses from the regions of Araxa was collected from six farms. Uh, the these cheese samples originated from the same batch. Uh, 1, 7, 14, 21, 28, 42, and 57 days of ripening, totaling 42 samples per season, right? uh, rainy season, summer season, those seasons. Uh, ripening occurred at room temperature, uh, which we verified from 18 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius and from 15 to 32. In rainy and dry seasons, uh, cheese samples were stored in double laboratory conditions too. And the second stage was enumeration and isolation. Uh, 25 grams of each cheese was taken septically and added to the uh, to 25 ml of sterile peptone water and homogenized for 2 minutes using a stomacher. Serial dilution of samples were surfaced, uh, plated on MRS and M M17 agars, incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 48 hours under aerobic condition. Uh, 3 to 4 gram positive and catalyzed negative colonies reflecting the lab characteristics morphological type were chosen from each count plate and purified by streaking and glowing on the same medium as we did in our uh, lab portion of food science project. The isolates were subcultured in an MRS or M17 medium broth supplemented with 15% glycerol as a chiroprotectant and it's stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius. And the next uh, topic is the uh, identification of uh, lactobacillus bacteria, lacto lactic acid bacteria. Uh, colonies of a lab which showed a distinct morphology in the isolation medium were submitted for molecular identification by 16S mRNA gene sequencing and analysis. Uh, the optin sequences were analyzed using sigmach algorithm uh, also uh, it, it's called rdp uh, ribosomal database project isolates with similarity threshold higher than 97 percent were considered in the study although the relative humidity in the higher we are going to move to the results now Although the relative humidity is higher in the rainy period, uh, no difference between seasons was observed for the lab counts. 
high counts of lab were detected in the Jesus irrespective of season because they had large counts of lab at the time of cheese production it is possible that these cheese labs these labs came from uh, raw milk and the indigenous culture the ripening time only influenced the mean count of lab in the m17 medium during the dry season it may be explained by the higher pH of that culture medium than MRS allowing a wider variation of bacterial growth so in this table you can see the rainy season and the dry season uh, both MRS and M M17 for dry season and uh, M uh, and the rainy season is similar the lab count is similar uh, uh, when you look at it uh, both of them showed much similar numbers so so there is not much difference in it of lactic, lactic acid bacteria from two, 263 isolates a total of 15 morphologically distinct and positive and catalyzed negative strains were identified uh, four different genre uh, were found in the cheeses lactobacillus enterococcus pediococcus and lactococcus an important rate of lab isolates were identified as lactobacillus uh, 72 percentage uh, present in the two seasons and during all stages of cheese ripening. The lactobacillate constitute of a major group of lab and compromise a comprise of wide range of niches. Uh, they play an important role uh, during the ripening of industrial and artisanal cheeses as they provide water favored uh, compounds that contribute to their sensory profile. Among the identified isolates, uh, the, more the most frequent lab species required from the cheese, the rainy season belongs to species Lactobacillus plantarum and Lactobacillus brevis, while the dry, se while the dry season, uh, the most frequent lab belongs to the Lactobacillus ramna species, uh, Lactobacillus plantarum and Lactobacillus kc are desirable species in cheese production as they are related to the development of unique sensory characteristics and also may have a probiotic potential uh, we have to do more research on that currently there is not much related to it some traces of uh, enterococcus reborium species of enterococcus were also detected uh, the presence of this species in fermented products is not yet documented and its role in cheeses should be further studied. Results from this study indicated that diverse bacterial species arise in minus artisanal cheese from Araxa uh, with a possible dominance of members of Lactobacillus genus. In conclusion, molecular studies of this artisanal cheeses may reveal a complex microbiota, including novel species such as uh, Enterococcus reborium. Identification of indigenous lab. So strains during the ripening of minus artisanal cheese is the first step in understanding the specific microbial ecosystem of the artisanal cheeses and their role in cheese making as well as their pro potential uh, probiotic activities. So uh, that's it for the presentation. Thank you.